fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Lands the jab. Oh, nice jab. Push kick there to the body. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. It's bit. horrible. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, man. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. You can't take too many of those big elbows. That's a great kick landed there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Leg kick is true. Unable to connect there. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Execution on that leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Very fast jab lands for him. Nice straight there by Lee. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Pretty good head kick there. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, and he lands it. Another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when we're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. And there's that inside leg kick. 
no defense. These two are going back and forth. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Push kick there to the body. Oh, separation from the clinch. Big shot to the head. Thirty seconds to go here. Throws that tip and it lands. Beautiful combination by the champion there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Final seconds. Time, that hurt sounds means we've reached stop. the end of round one. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Nice punch to the head. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Lands a nice straight. Back and forth we go. Man, he has been masterful on the feet this evening, and really his weapon of choice has been that jab. He has had it in his opponent's face all night long. Beautiful kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Lee. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He went high on that one. Big elbow! Oh, yes, now we're going. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Effective punch from the clinch there by Lee. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Where your hands? Nice block. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He gets to the single collar. I look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, 
he seems lost to it. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. 90 seconds to go in round two. The right hand just misses. Nice kick. These guys are going in. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Overhand is good. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, big left. Oh! 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Two rounds in the books. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, sidekick. Well done. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Let me see that one now. It's work, guys. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. Nice land. Great punch. Clipped him with the right hand there. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Just over three minutes to go now. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. And there's that jab. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Ooh. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking 
the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Straight punch. Man, his jab is good. There it is. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Big punch land. Boom. Great block there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. That elbow back to the target very quick in the clinch. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Left-right combo is good. Final 30 seconds of this third round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Big straight left. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the Ready defense, fight. and now Ready. he's got that massive Go. cut on the bridge of his nose. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go in that extra 10 minutes. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this would be a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasphemy kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. What a kick. That one landed. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has 
doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice, solid punch lands. Oh, nice. Kick looked like that one was blocked. You know, that, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just missed with the left there. Kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. He's got that single collar tie locked in. His nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Lands the kick to the body there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, box class, hands up, chin down. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Lee. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Under a minute to go in round four. Nice kick, yep. Oh. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Around for 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Relax. Keep those hands high. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, the high kick gets home. He's got the single collar tie. And now some separation. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice. He's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. 
All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be, right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. That I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Lee. It's those leg kicks that's eating him alive. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Just missed with the leg kick. That is a damaging kick that lands. Oh, swing and a miss on the counter. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice straight right, Lance. You got this, come on. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Nice kick. Another nice leg kick there by Lee. Right on the button. Beautiful work on the feet tonight by Lee. Very fast leg kick lands for him. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night today. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. with authority the body. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fit. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Both guys landing big shots. Stop. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly thus far, few men have succeeded.